Welcome to the Nature Photo Guys podcast, where we talk about nature photography from gear to our philosophies and everything in between. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax. You're listening to Joe DeJardin and Chris Gibbs, the Nature Photo Guys. Hey guys, today I want to talk about the camera bag I use. I've had a few questions uh, from previous episodes and I thought I'd just cover that today. What I'm actually using is the F-Stop Ajna 40 liter camera bag. The thing I really love about this is it's very comfortable. Um, it's got an internal aluminum frame and uh, the fact that I have a removable um, insert that they call them an ICU um, makes this bag very uh, versatile. So some pretty cool features of this bag. Uh, we have these um, weather uh, sealed zippers. We've got the two side compartments. Uh, this one here, um, actually I have my, my pad that I sit on. The other thing too is this bag, with this bag, you can actually expand the bag, you know, for a little bit more gear near the bottom. Now, the same thing on this side here. Um, you can see the zipper, of course, and then the amount of gear you can actually fit. Now with the front, we've got these uh, straps here that I'd normally actually put my tripod through. Um, I can actually show you how I would carry that. So what I'd normally do is take two legs, undo the straps here, and I mean you could even just use the one, attach it that way there, and then off to the races, right? It's also got a front pouch here. Again, with the weather sealed zipper, room for a ton of gear. I mean, you could put a jacket in there, a lunch, any of that kind of stuff. The top, we've got this zippered compartment here. And what I do is I carry my manual, camera strap, um, you know, um, just a few other accessories. I've also got this cool little clip here that I can actually attach my keys to so I don't drop them or lose them. And then we've got the main compartment. Now, you can actually load the bag from the top or from the back. What I like about the rear entry of the bag is that it's, it's tight to your back, obviously, when you're, when you're backpacking. But when you go to access your camera gear, um, it's up. The, you know, the traditional camera bags, um, you used to access them um, from the, the top part of the bag and not the back. So when you went to access your gear, the back was actually laying in the snow, the mud, you know, the rain, whatever it was, right? So this is what I like about the accessing it from the rear. And this is actually my first backpack that I've had uh, with this feature here. So I just want to show you guys how much room there's actually in this bag. Now, the thing is, is like with the traditional bags, um, you would have your inserts um, that actually attached to the side wall of the bag, uh, Velcro, of course. But in this case here, you could see the bag is completely open and empty, right? Okay. But it's also designed to carry a water bladder. It's got the hole here that the, uh, the tube can come out of. And then what you actually put in here, they're called ICUs. So I'll show you the one I have. So this is an ICU, okay? And what this is, they have different sizes, a small, a medium, a large, uh, that sort of thing. And, you know, just to um, customize the bag for the amount of gear you have, okay? Um, with this one here, you can see I've got all my camera gear nicely stowed away, okay? The cover is soft and protective. You can actually just take your gear with you. You don't even need it to put it in the bag. But in this case here, I would just slide this into the top. And here, I would have access to all my gear this way. Now there's ways to fasten it into the, the bag itself. Uh, we've got these little Velcro side uh, straps here that actually attach to the side of the bag. And you can see right here, the internal frame, the aluminum frame here. 
you know, if you were to get, let's say, a smaller one because you're just shooting, let's say, landscape photography and you just want a camera body with a couple of lenses, then with the smaller ICU, you have all the rest of this bag to put in jackets, lunch, water, all that kind of stuff. Not only is this a camera bag, it's also um, a backpack. I mean, if you didn't even want to bring any camera gear and you're just going out for a hike that day, easy enough to remove the ICU and just use it as a, a standard backpack. With the back up and zippered up, I mean, you can throw everything from the top. So it's a great bag overall. One other thing I wanted to mention, guys, is at the bottom of the bag, uh, we have this zippered compartment here where you can actually throw some trash, put your rain cover in, you know, anything else you really want to carry with you. So just to give you guys an, uh, an idea of um, the quality of the bag, um, I've probably been using this bag, oh, I say a good four, five, six years. I can't even really remember when I purchased the bag. And it still looks new. And, you know, I've traveled all over. I mean, I actually took this bag with me over to China. So it is airline friendly um, obviously I never checked the bag but uh, it was um, no problem at all getting it on an airplane and um, yeah I mean th there's not much more I can really say um, if you wanted to check out the specs of this bag just go to fstopgear.com and it'll have a list of all the quality features thanks for joining us on the nature photo guys podcast if you have any questions contact us at info at the naturephotoguys.ca or message us on Facebook and Instagram at The Nature Photo Guys Podcast. Visit YouTube and subscribe to our channel to watch all our latest videos. Or follow and listen to our latest podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or on our website at thenaturephotoguys.ca. We'll catch you next time on The Nature Photo Guys Podcast. <music>